everyone Animal here with a little quick channel update announcement. This is going to be the only video for today because I'll be upgrading the video card. Got that in the mail today, so I'll be putting that out. Also felt a little under the weather, so I didn't have anything prepared early on. I was had a short stream and I was just kind of like, just recovering and we'll be replacing the video card. But I want to get this out just to tell you what's up. So I don't just disappear for a day because I don't, you know, I don't appreciate that as a viewer. So I don't imagine other people do either. And then that's the main announcement, so otherwise we'll just be grinding some Roguelands character. I think we have Dragon Bolt is a guy that has some stuff that can help us, that can get stronger to help us kill some mega bosses. So we'll grind them up for a few levels. Just hang out, just chill. It's gonna be a little chill video. I got the main announcement out. The other thing was that the streams is the only other, is the other news. Oh, let's do like uh, Ancient Ruins, challenge level 1, 2 would probably be better. Or experience because we're trying to level him up and also level up his equipment because something else equipment's all leveled up. Uh, the streams we're still behind the streams, uh, uploading all the streams. So what, we're, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to just we're just going to put them all out there. It's going to be like a deluge of like a dozen stream videos. I'm going to I'm pretty sure I'm like 90% sure you can publish videos without the notifications going out for those videos. I haven't we had never had to do that before. Oh, th th excuse me, sir. We never had to do that before. But I'm pretty sure you can do it, so I'll I'll get that out because I don't want you to yeah I don't want to spam you with a whole bunch of hey this stream this stream this stream that's ridiculous they'll just they'll just slip quietly onto the playlist you can choose to watch them at your leisure if you, you know, decide to do so there's a bunch of dailies on there from K Blazers some for Isaac I've been doing K Blazers a lot in stream for like the dailies so if you're into K Blazers just watch the beginning of the day watch the beginning of the stream that's always the first thing that we do. Uh, that warm up with that K plays just daily. After that, yeah, there's like some a bunch of heroes in there. It's the end of the last season of heroes, uh, and then some like random Isaacs and some like some of the sea in there. Which, because I'm still trying to finish that run, but it never seems to have time because it takes so long. There's so many things I still need to do. Ah, uh, uh, maybe on one of the weekend streams because I streamed on Saturday for several hours. Ah, but then I'll be streaming at the fall. There's just so much. There's so much to do. It's so little time. And there's also some Roguelands fights in there, including our only monster creator Olaf kill for a while, being the, the Might Shroom, which you'll see. I'll edit that out. I'll download that video and then edit that fight out on its own and put it on its own video. Of course, soon, probably tomorrow, so maybe not. Depends on. Because then I need to get the old videos encoded, but I have to guard replace, which shouldn't take long. But you know, these things can always be problems unexpectedly. Um, so hopefully soon we get that out. <laughs> it's, it's a long fight. Be prepared. That's how all those fights are going to go. It's going to be very long and difficult. I feel like this character is doing a lot of damage. Oh, well, that, that, I mean, that, that was a decent amount of damage. I guess if he hits all the missiles, it's a decent amount of damage, but otherwise, kind of not. We'll, go on, we'll make this like 10 15 minutes. We don't need to we don't need to do this too much. Like I said Rogue Lance content will be on the way. So I have a lot of still have a lot of backlog from like a year. months ago. I had to upgrade the shield. I don't really need the shield upgraded. From months ago. Of default and I doing some kills and boss fights and stuff. So I can go way back and put those into some super cut. Which I I will. I will I will we'll definitely do that. I get a little head on, all I have to do is get a little head on recordings, and then we get all the videos loaded up, and I just cut out some, I just leave in some interesting, interesting parts, basically. Which will be a bunch of boss fights, primarily. Which is fine, that's what a lot of people like to see. It's, I don't know, honestly, it's probably the most, one of the more interesting parts of the game, after you get these levels down. It's only so many exciting things happen in these levels. Not a lot of random events going on. Not a lot of exploration, you know, you know. You know. You played the game, or see me play the game, probably. I guess there's theoretically a chance that you could be watching this and have no idea what I'm talking about. The Rogue Lands. Why don't I use this helicopter just for fun? Big old boat. That does a lot of damage, okay. Now I see. Now I see what we're doing. I see we're setting up Mr. 600 damage a shot halfway across the screen uh, to help us fight bosses. Still not that much, because like we can set up a character to do 600 damage. This thing lasts a long time, it's good. Uh, we can set up a character to do 600 damage per shot on their own power, which is a lot more reliable. But having a really expensive spell that can kind of unreliably do 600 damage isn't that impressive. Because I had the 
is fighting with our chainsaw guy against one of the ultra mega super bosses. And he does uh, like 200 damage, he does like 400 damage a shot. He does a decent amount of damage per shot. His chainsaw does a thousand damage, and then he has these spinny, spinny blades do like a thousand damage. So they do a lot of damage. And he, oh, why did you upgrade the rings? They're not an important thing to upgrade on this character. Uh, but yeah, after, even though shooting a lot and getting in there with the saw, and then you can spin the saw a little bit, you can go back and forth like that, and get multiple hits in with the saw, and do several thousand points of damage. These still, these bosses are like, just, they don't even care. They have so much HP. It's, it's insane. Which is why it's been really, uh, been really discouraged from going in against them. But, we made a commitment to kill them, so we're going to kill them. Give it a moment. It may take, literally, it may take a long time. Just depending how it goes, we will cheat horribly, so these characters don't die, and then we, that saves us a lot of time on just remaking the character and regrinding them up. This saves us time on that. Feels a little disingenuous, you know what? I think the, I think at some point the RPG roguelike, it, there's there's a point, there's a break where it needs to separate those two genres need to separate themselves. Roguelands went way past that point. Darkest Dungeon went a little past that point. There's a new Darkest Dungeon, relatively new Darkest Dungeon expansion that came out, which I'm not sure if I want to buy a DLC. It's like one new floor and a couple new characters and enemies. I'm not sure if I want to buy a whole new expansion for that. That seems a little light to me for something to purchase. Oh, hey, hey guy, what's up? I want to throw the bow to you. I want to throw the bow to you. Can really not throw the bow to you? We can throw some. Oh, yeah, we have the super grenades. Obnoxious and really loud. Super grenades. Gosh, that's. Oh man, that's terrible. I don't know where our boss is. We didn't kill him, did we? There's no way we killed him. Did we kill him? I don't think we killed him. Unless we totally killed him. I forgot what I was talking about with that, the whole interruption. Oh yeah, Darkest Dungeon. And then also Radiant Mode. We never actually played Radiant Mode. We're supposed to be kind of uh, handling those complaints I had about. Because I'm not, obviously not the only one that has those complaints. Hey, there you are. Do I have enough for super grenades? We cannot hit me with this big old sword. Let's get away from his sword, then just shoot him in the face. A uh, radio mode is supposed to be a faster paced form of gungeon. It's still difficult, but without as much grinding. Without as much grindingness. Because the game just runs faster. Not runs faster, that sounds stupid. It sounds like it's a. No, 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 no. As soon as you talk about Darkest Dungeon. Dude sat in my face and killed me. I should have just stopped attacking him and healed while I was stuck in the corner, so I panicked. But that's fine. Like I told you, I told you I'm sick today, okay? You gotta give me a break. What we do we just end the process. We go back in. And that's pretty much like... We'll show you, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do a couple levels of Iron Man then. Iron Man has no risk because we don't play it with any sort of risk <laughs> potential at all. We just go here, we very calmly make some, uh, make some health packs. We throw on two challenges level one, and then I play until we make 5,000 credits back. So our 2,000 souls are back at 7,000 set. Oh yeah, this character is also automatic fireballs, which gets really, also loud and annoying and lasts for an eternity. This character needs to get level 100, and then we get um, then we have our unlock. What, level 150? Actually, is there a level 150 Iron Man unlock? Because that might actually be a little obnoxious. But, again, we're gonna, on that 100% train, sometimes the train ride is shorter than other games. This time's a very, very long train ride. Why am I jumping like a thousand feet in the air? Does this character have something I don't know about, mobility-wise? Oh, it must have the... character must have the headphones on, right? Yeah, okay. Where are the rocks? Space rocks, please. Easy peasy. Rock up here. But the... yeah, the... only being able to shoot horizontally is the problem with that weapon. And there's this is like the whole family weapons, so all those cannons, they can only fire horizontally, which, as you can imagine, can be really problematic when you're trying to shoot anywhere that's not directly horizontal. And with some of these big boss fights and how mobile they are, and getting positioned to be directly, getting positioned to be directly horizontal to them, 
be really, really tricky. Where are you? Or Greg? Alright, it should be damage to finish him off pretty soon. Right, or Greg? There he is. These cows are really dead. They didn't even kill that one. These cows are super tanky. Heads up. Get some mods, even though the hardcore characters probably not gonna matter because they have to. They have to find our own way to Mech City. Which I guess is. Ah, eh, no, just. Eh, eh. <laughs> we can't access anything. It's a problem. I would have liked to have seen. An individual stash system? Like, a la Diablo 3 season characters? They have. It's not as if the. You don't have access to your normal stash, but you still have a stash. You're not just thrown to the wolves uh, inventory wise. I can understand it might be like, you know, he just doesn't have the resources to separate the stashes like that. It's probably just a shortcut to separate the stash. Because that is your stash with all your stuff in it. He couldn't make a second stash fit there or something, so he just uh, blocked it off completely. Yeah, like those moves. And you see this, this giant headset. This giant headset. Why is this boss so tanky? This is absurd. Alright, how much money are we at? 4,000. We're actually almost back up to 7,000. I oh, 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 hey, 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 Actually also ran out of healing already. I, as you can imagine, get a little paranoid about the Iron Man character dying. Although realistically, if you're playing by yourself, there's pretty much very little difference between Iron Man and regular. So the regular character don't, are obnoxiously prevented from accessing the stash. Other than that, they're pretty, it's pretty much identical. But without the stash, then of course the idea is that you're starting from scratch with each character. You can't just, you know, get your level 0 character, buff them with a bunch of max level ultimate equipment, and then have them power level up to whatever you need. It's a little more of a purist, I guess, experience. How much in the face with the, the gauntlet? Are these even called gauntlets? They're clearly not gauntlets. They're like, uh... Oh, what's the name of the weapon? I already forgot. The Xena Warrior Princess Sivert Glaive. They're glaives. Like, I know it's common in video games. <laughs> it shows up a lot. It's a glaive. I realize there's no glaive thrower character in Heroes of the Storm, even though it shows up all the time in Warcraft. Health Pack 3, thank you very much. Caves, you want to try the caves? What are we at? Level uh, 4,000? Like halfway there. Let's see if we make dumb money in the caves. Or we can just die horribly. Let's, you know, either way. Oh, we can't grind up our weapons to get the easy, like, uh, gold weapons. Very disappointing. Quack, 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 quack. Only one magic, come on. Your name. Brock. My name is Guy Brock. That would have been some clever reason. I always name them something clever. Brock. Why is he named Brock? Oh, Rock. Brock. Don't know. Don't know. I usually have some funny joke or something. Uh, by funny, maybe is a bit of an exaggeration, but some sort of joke. The names or reference or something, but I don't know what Brock. I don't remember where Brock came from. Well, this is scary, because that's the name of the mini-boss, who's very, very tough. By very, very tough, I mean he has a lot of HP, not necessarily a typical fight. You seem to have made him mad. I don't know if it is somewhere. I hate it. traps. Go away. I know. I know you exist. Understand that. Just shoo, though. Oh, there's our boss. Also, all the Skittles ever? Why can't I heal? Oh, because I have no healing. This is where we leave. This is where we... No, oh, we jump into a trap. Because there are so many traps. Ugh. Well, that's what I get for tempting fate by going to the caves. That's alright, that's why we just cheat. I told you I was sick, right? Remember? Remember I'm sick? 
the point of the video was just to announce the, uh, just give you the heads up on that. We'll have more Rogue Lance content coming up, especially that. These mega boss fights where you need to grind up the characters for. Because I have the chainsaw guy, but he's hopeless. <laughs> it's really hard for him. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more fun. Twitch, deal. I'll see you next time.